Alrighty, well, this is a venison, some venison meat here. Um, my mother shot a doe last Sunday there, and uh, I'm uh, making jerky. I made that right there already, oh, well, seasoned with that, and I'm not sure what else I'm going to be using. I got some more seasoning, but this is the leg, <clears throat> the hind quarter. Um, it's a lot of meat there. Um, so I can't wait. I got to chop it all up. I'm in the process of doing it. I had to go out and my nephew shot a deer up front and nice big doe. So he's filling his tags here. So I had to go gut it for him. I didn't have to, but that's what I do. And now I'm back cutting this up. So. I can have some jerky, and I do have jerky. I made some the other day. It came out really good, actually. Um, I will make a video of me smoking this on my grill. Um, I don't know which seasoning I'm going to use, but if you ever do jerky, this high mountain is a go-to, unless you have your own recipes which is good too um but this hunter's blend here i haven't used it yet but i know the original is really good um i've also used shore lunch and that stuff is good too so anyhow uh be back maybe in a couple days because i gotta let this all uh, marinate i'm cutting it up you know, I got to clean all this stuff off it and everything. And that's some stew meat right there. It's uh, going to be stew. So, again, then um, if you don't have a vacuum sealer, I, re I recommend the Food Saver. Um, it's a good, good, good machine. I mean, it's got the storage here for your paper. Or your your bag here. You pull it open here and pull it out, and it's got a slicer. You you know make your own bags, whatever size you want. Uh, and then again, it's got this here for um, doing cans, and uh, not a bad machine. So check it out. Okay. Well, I had to get back. I'm uh, make a jerky again. You guys have a good day. Peace.